do they have in mind for you? Actually, they didn't have in mind. They, they, they knew they would need uh, technical people. At the end of that period, they were now ready to assign us, and it was just a one-year period, very intensely, all the electrical, most of the electrical engineering courses that uh, I would need. It happened at the end of the period that they needed personnel for the atomic energy project. Okay. I have to, in retrospect, say, again, very fortunate uh, thing for me. So I was included in a group that was directed to that. Just to give you an idea of the quirks of the uh, Army, and actually, I uh, already told you, I was told, you know, hustle, you know, go make a plane, get back to New yeah. York. A friend of mine in his uh, unit was also eligible, uh, Herb Wasserman, but he had gone, this happened to be on a Saturday, he's a Sabbath observer, he was in the synagogue that day. By the time he came back, the guys had left oh. to go on this thing. He went into the infantry, had his ass shot off, I mean, he went through <laughs> all sorts of stuff in, in the army because he wasn't in the barracks when they were looking for him to okay. send him into the Atomic Energy Project. At the Atomic Energy Project, it was at Los Alamos, with the greatest scientists. I had the privilege of hearing Oppenheimer uh, speak a couple of times, a brilliant, brilliant person. He would, he would speak the way you would wish to write if you were an excellent writer. Mm. That was absolutely brilliant. In any case, when I got out, I had my electrical engine. I went back to NYU. You were able to get to uh, come out of the army if, um, if you had an acceptance to a college. Mm -hmm. I had an acceptance to, uh, to NYU uh, where I could finish up and get my degree in electrical engineering, which I did in about six months. Then I thought that uh, I would I have to, at that point, go find a job. And uh, I decided to go up to Pittsfield, Massachusetts, where my uncle was in the plumbing and heating business not to participate in his business, but uh, to uh, go to GE and, and, and see if I could get a job there. Over the weekend, my, my uncle said to me, Mel, he said, why do you want to go to uh, GE for? Come on into the business with your cousins my age, and two cousins, uh, and a little bit older. And, um, uh, come, into, come into our business, we're building it up. He had built it up from a used plumbing supply. He himself was uh, quite a story because what he did, he, he used to come down from Pittsfield to Brooklyn, a certain neighborhood there where you can pick up uh, plumbing fixtures and that sort of thing, load up his truck, travel all night back to Pittsfield, leave these used plumbing supplies with his wife who would clean them up, he was on Wakona Street, that's Route 7, going right through Pittsfield. Put on this display, made a living out of it until he came out of the used plumbing business, began to buy new stuff, and became a wholesale company, S. Friedland and Sons, in Pittsfield. I was working for him. I what, did that for about four or five months. What did he have you doing? I was a salesperson. Okay doing what the cousin who was my age, two weeks separate in our births, um, what uh, he was doing, calling on plumbers, going up and down in the Berkshires. And the thing that I liked about it, I mean, you could see a certain amount of naivete in this. The thing I liked about it was that my uncle at the end of the week, when payday came, would put his hand in his pocket, take out a big roll of bills, take off some, give them to each of his sons, and give me $25. The part that I liked was the ease with which he could always find this roll of bills in his, in his pocket. Yeah. And that's the, that's the first time I ever thought of going into business. I told my uncle that the business was his son's. This was after I'd been in it about six months. And by that time, I saw the first crude baseboard radiators that were available. Uh, when I say they are crude, it's because 
They were sort of heavy steel. They were actually pretty good in terms of today, but it was ungainly. I didn't know yet how I would make it better, but I thought that's something that can be made better, and it certainly is a, a desirable way to heat.